Rivers, and today I want to speak to everyone about the word unity. Let's look at the word unity by itself. The word unity means for two to stand in agreement on a certain situation. And if you read Psalms 133, it says, how good is it and how pleasant is it for a, for a brother to be able to walk together in unity? That's Psalms 133 verse 1. Are we all going to agree together? No, we're not going to agree because your personality and this personality, everybody's personality, personality is entirely different. So I don't expect for us to be in agreement at all times. But we do need to walk in unity because in Matthew, it says when two or three are together, there is power in the name of Jesus, which means when God is in it, when you're walking together with your brother and sister in unity and not trying to bring division or strife, you'll be able to see God working. But then you'll also be able to see what God is not in it as well, because you'll have people talking about each other, people stabbing each other in the back. The reason why your church can't stay the way that it needs to be is because you cause causing a lot of division and people don't want to be a part of it. What I'm saying is that everybody needs unity from the church to your friendship to your marriage. Because the Bible also says in Amos 3, verse 3, can, can a man and woman, can, can you walk together unless you're in agreement? So we do need to be in agreement from the beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible. It talks about unity. Remember, Adam and Eve was in unity with the Lord. And then remember the people in the Tower of Babel, they were in unity together because they were building it up. And the Lord said, let us go down because if we go down, we don't have to. Because if not, they're going to, because they're working so much together, we need to go down there. So what did God do? He, he changed the language of them and then he scattered them. And then it talks about unity all through the Bible, even with the disciples, even with the day of Pentecost, they were all on one accord. They were all doing unity, doing what it was that God had for them to do. And by it being more than one, by it being more than two. But by it being so many, you can see the Holy Spirit come in. And then last but not least, when Jesus comes back, when he comes back out of that cloud with his horse, he's going to have angels and everybody with him in unity. When we get caught up, we're going to get caught up in unity. This person just ain't going to get caught up. And then four or five months later, this person going to get caught up. No, we're all going to get caught up together. Will we agree? No, we won't agree at all times. But if you can keep yourself away from strife and division and bring unity, then that's the best thing that you possibly can do. Because how do you expect for God to be in something if you're not loving? You can't have unity if you don't love. Remember, this is Minister Rivers. I love you. God loves you. And all that you do, give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.